friend Hallie Vett. She's on vacation in Italy. Just listen to this. Dear Alice, I want to say grazie for your last letter. She says grazie is Italian for thank you. I'll take that, please. Grazie. How exciting! She went to the Leaning Tower of Pisa. I saw a picture of it in school. It's this really old tower in Italy that's famous because every year it leans more and more to one side. You're right, Dinah. It seems like the tower should fall over, too. But things aren't always what they seem. Especially in some places. <laughs> I've got it! I've got it! Oh. 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 Phew. Thanks, Alice. That was too close. <laughs> it's supposed to be take-out pizza, not take-off. Oh, I love ordering takeout pizza. Oh, yes, so does the Queen. But we've tried every pizza parlor in Wonderland, and none have been able to make a pizza to the Queen's liking. I'm afraid if she doesn't like this one, she'll make me bake the pizza from now on. I like to cook, but I guess I wouldn't want to do it every night. Exactly. Is it any wonder I love pizza night? <laughs> the one night a week I don't have to. Just once a week, for this poor rabbit's sake. Oh, pizza night, oh, pizza night, you mean so much to me. You taste the best. You let me rest. You're as good as food can be. Oh, pizza night, oh, pizza night, a box of yummy treasure. With lots of cheese. I hope you please and bring our highness pleasure. I certainly don't mean to complain. That's never been your style. But I sure hope this pizza pie Will make our queen's royal tummy smile Oh, pizza night, oh, pizza night You mean so much to me You taste the best You let me rest You're good as food can be Oh, pizza night, oh, pizza night A box of yummy treasure With lots of cheese I hope you please and bring our highness Pleasure Where is that rabbit? My favorite program, The Wonderland Years, is about to start, and my pizza's not here yet. Oh, oh a commercial! Wouldn't you like a big, juicy pizza right now? Oh, Rabbit, where's my pizza? <laughs> right here, Your Majesty. Well, it's about time. Uh, just the way you ordered it. Extra large, uh, with everything on it. Uh, everything except anchovies, that is. <laughs> no fishy pizza for you. Oh, good. Let's dig in. Mm -mm. Doesn't exactly look like the pizza in the commercial, does it? I'll say. It looks like a box of melted crayons. Uh, but with extra cheese, Your Majesty, just the way you uh, like it. Oh, a rump. Well, let's try a piece. Oh, yes, let's try. Oh, sorry, Your Majesty. Oh, oh I do beg your pardon. Oh. Oh, what is this cheese made out of rubber? Oh! Oh! Well, it still may taste yummy, Your Majesty. Hmm. Okay. You go first. Me? Uh, me? Cardboard, Your Majesty. <laughs> it's stuck to the pizza box. Ugh. I need another piece without cardboard. Yes, Your Majesty. <laughs> no. 
Now this looks better. Oops! <laughs> Not a very well balanced meal, I'm afraid. That does it! Take this pizza back where you bought it. From now on, you will be my pizza chef. Oh, oh uh, uh, your majesty, I was just thinking. Why should the honor of pizza chef be handed to me on a pizza platter? Why not, um, uh, why not have a royal pizza pie contest? And then all your subjects can bake pizza using their own recipes and... And you can pick the best one. And the winner of the contest will become my royal pizza chef. And work in that hot kitchen on pizza night. Oh, I love my idea. <laughs> so do I. Of course, you'll enter the contest. <laughs> of course. <laughs> hear about the contest, your majesty? Oh, Hannah, don't tell me that's your pizza pie. Do you mind if I tell you? Well, oh, isn't this a little small for a pizza pie? Besides, it's as light as a feather. The best meringue always is. Meringue? On pizza pie? I told you we should have gone with the banana cream. Lemon meringue? Ask for a pizza pie, not a piece of pie. Oh. oh, your majesty, I now wear the chef's hat of my great grandfather, Il Capolaio Pazzo. I didn't know your grandfather was Italian. He wasn't. <laughs> now, where would she get a silly idea like that? But... Grandpa Il Capolaio Pazzo did have the world's best recipe for pizza. Oh, do you have the recipe? No. But who needs a recipe when it's all up here? Hey, it's all up here. Who needs a recipe? I've got no how. No need to show me how it's all up here. Why, I've got all above my brow. I'm just a natural who needs a plan. Just let us have a go, we understand. Who needs instructions when you've got it all? It's all up here. It's all up here. We've got it all upstairs. We're oh so smart. No blueprints needed cause it's all up here. The two of us are experts from the start. We're good at everything. Who needs a plan? Just let us have a go. We understand. Who needs instructions when you've got it all? It's all up here. Ah. <laughs> now, don't worry, Your Majesty. We won't disappoint you. Oh, we sure won't. Why, we'll make you a delicious pizza pie this big. Oh. Oh! Uh, yeah. It'll be biggie, biggie, biggie. Oh. Let's see. Add two cups flour. Oh, this is just awful. If my pizza wins the Queen's Pizza Contest, I'll be in this hot kitchen seven nights a week. Hi, Mr. Rabbit. May I borrow a cup of flour? I'm helping Mr. Caterpillar bake his pizza. Oh, certainly, Alice. I think there's enough left in the box I just used. Wait, Mr. Rabbit. That's not flour. Look, there's soap in this box. <gasps> By my fur and whiskers, Alice, you're right. Why, one slice of the Queen's pizza would clean a whole load of laundry. It's a good thing I caught you before you went ahead and made the Queen's pizza with soap. Oh. Just think of what she might have done. <laughs> yes. She would have been foaming at the mouth. And then she would have hated my pizza and never made me the royal pizza chef. Mr. Rabbit, if I didn't know any better, 
I'd think you were deliberately trying not to bake a good pizza. <gasps> why, Alice, I'm surprised at me. Uh, you, uh, why would I do a thing like that? Well, perhaps deep down I was trying to lose the contest just so that I wouldn't have to cook every night. Can you blame me? No, I understand. And if it helps any, I'll keep my fingers crossed for you. <gasps> that you lose. Oh. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> you decided yet what kind of pizza you're going to make? Buy an award-winning one, of course. I'll just follow a recipe from my favorite cookbook, How to Cook Italian by Mamma Mia. Let's see. Oh, here we go. How to prepare a perfectly pleasing pepperoni pizza. Is it the alliteration or the pepperoni that's making you frown? Oh, no, it's not the alliteration. Using words that all start with the same sound is fun. Then you don't like pepperoni pizza? I don't know. I've never had one before. I always eat plain cheese pizzas. Oh, my dear girl, what you need to try is a variety. Variety? I've never heard of that kind of pizza before. No. Variety means a number of different kinds. Oh, well, I like a variety of cheeses on my cheese pizza. I don't think I'm quite making my point. Perhaps a story will tell. Once there was a charming chimpanzee named Ashley. Ashley was a very happy chimpanzee because she got to have a peanut butter sandwich for every meal. Her father made her a peanut butter sandwich for dinner. Ashley's mother made her a peanut butter sandwich for breakfast. And Ashley made her own peanut butter sandwich for lunch. When Ashley's friends wanted to trade sandwiches at lunchtime, Ashley would never agree. Don't you get tired of nothing but peanut butter sandwiches all the time, asked her friends. No, I like peanut butter, replied Ashley. They tried to get Ashley to try something new, but Ashley was not interested. Then one day, Charlie accidentally dropped a banana onto Ashley's sandwich. And Ashley got a taste of something new. And she liked it. So from then on, Ashley had a peanut butter sandwich for dinner and a peanut butter sandwich for breakfast. But for lunch, she had peanut butter and banana sandwiches. Because Ashley had learned that it's good to try new things. The idea, Mr. Caterpillar. I'll never know if I like anything new unless I give it a try. Exactly. <gasps> How are we going to make a pizza without pepperoni? You know, if we want to win the contest, maybe we should try something different on our pizza instead of the same old pepperoni. That's a good idea. Mm -hmm. Let's try something new. If you always do the same old pizza thing, uh -huh. it'll always have that same old ring to it. You might want to go with a jalapeno. Oh, yeah. Or dump on a bit of oregano. Mm, just do it. Go cheese, pineapple, mushrooms, too. Eggplant, olives, and onions will do. And just when you thought that pizza was through Try something new Well, how about you? Let's try something new Mmm, don't be stuck in a rut Change your topping on two Who says you got to simmer in the same old stew? Nobody, that's who Add a bit of this and a dab of that too Try, try something, something new Dump on a lot, a little won't do Try something, something new. new. Well, maybe no anchovies. Come on, brother. Try something new. Let's try something new. Try something new. How about a little barbecue chicken? Sounds good. 
and maybe some pine nuts. <laughs> ah, don't forget the catnip. Catnip? catnip. Hey, that, that wasn't, wasn't me who said that. Uh, it's the favorite at the kitty cafeteria. Cat, I should have known that you would suggest catnip. Well, at least don't leave off the anchovies. Not on your nine lives. This pizza is for the queen and she hates anchovies. But what's a pizza without anchovies? Hmm? In this case, prize winning. Say, Cat, don't you have a ball of yarn to play with or something? Sheesh. You try to spice up an otherwise humdrum D and dumb pizza, and look at the thanks you get. Arrivederci! Well, <clears throat> that looks like a prize winning pizza to me. Let's go check on the oven. Now then, a pizza without anchovies isn't a real pizza. I better help them out. Ah, now that's a pizza. <laughs> so, Rabbit, how's my pizza coming? Uh, I've just finished putting on the cheese, Your Majesty. <laughs> finished? It looks to me like you haven't started. You know I like oodles and oodles and oodles of cheese. <laughs> oh, now stay on your toes. Or someone else might win this contest. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, here. I believe we have all our ducks in a row. Well, just keep them away from the pizza. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, that's just an expression, Hare. It means that we are organized and ready to make our pizza. <laughs> if you need a cheese expert, I'm just the mouse for the job. I know my cheese from A to B. <laughs> uh, Hatter, mm -hmm. we seem to have forgotten the pizza dough. Oh. No problem. Bread has dough in it, so we'll just use a loaf of bread. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and I don't see a pizza pan. I yeah, right. That's because I don't have one. Yeah, but I thought we'd use this meatloaf pan. Oh, did you make any meatballs? Why waste time making meatballs when you can just throw the hamburger meat in all at once? Wait a minute, you guys. You don't have pizza dough, you don't have a pizza pan, and you don't have any meatballs? Do you have a recipe? I don't need a recipe. It's all up here. Uh-oh. Sounds like a recipe for trouble. Sausage, pepperoni, mushrooms. Well, I guess I can't really go wrong since the Queen likes everything on her pizza. Everything except anchovies. <laughs> Nothing. Fine. I'm just uh, trying to decide what toppings to put on, Your Majesty. Oh, well, of course, you want to put on a lot of mushrooms. <laughs> oh, uh, and a lot of sausage. <laughs> oh, and, and onions. Mm -hmm. But Your Majesty isn't helping me uh, unfair to the other contestants. Oh, I'm not really helping you. You are planning on putting all of these wonderful toppings on my pizza anyway. <laughs> I mean, it's not like you were going to add anchovies. <laughs> How did your pizza turn out? Not bad, but I think I'll try another piece just to be sure. <laughs> Well? Well... I think I'll have another piece. I'm still not sure what I think. You know what I think? I think you were more interested in making the pizza for yourself than for the Queen's contest. Oh, oh, oh. That is not entirely correct. I also made it for you. Have a piece. Pizza. It's better than plain 
cheese any day. Now, aren't you glad you tried something new? I want to welcome all the chefs to the Royal Pizza Contest. <laughs> now, remember, the winner of the contest will be named the Royal Pizza Chef and have the great honor of cooking my pizza every Saturday night in the Royal Kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> now, let's get started, because something smells delicious. Oh, well, you must be smelling our pizza, Your Majesty. <laughs> Here, it's in the bag. <laughs> no, it's not. It's under the napkin. <laughs> Wait a minute. This isn't a pizza. This looks like meatloaf. How true that is. I trust this won't hurt our chances of winning. Wait till you try our pizza, Your Majesty. <laughs> it's unlike any you've ever tasted. We like to think of it as a piece de resistance. Oh, or should I say, pizza de resistance. <laughs> oh, it looks yummy. Barbecue chicken, pine nuts. <laughs> Wait a minute. That smell. Anchovies? What? Oh, did I hear the word anchovies? Something's fishy and it's not just the pizza. Hmm, seems like too many hands, or should I say paws, spoiled our pizza. Mm, sorry, Tweedles, but you're disqualified on account of fish. I'll never eat this. In that case, I'll just sprinkle a little catnip on and it will be... Perfect. <laughs> Hi, Your Majesty. How's the contest going? Oh, harumph. Some contest this turned out to be. There's only one pizza left. So, Rabbit, I guess you're the winner. Well, Your Majesty, you really should taste it first, just to be sure. Oh, I don't need to taste it. I know it's great. Why, I practically made it myself. <laughs> so I guess this makes me the royal pizza chef. Yes, congratulations. <laughs> well, wait a minute, Your Majesty. If you practically made the pizza yourself, then Mr. Rabbit doesn't really deserve to win. Hmm, you've got a point there, Alice. According to the rules, if you made the best pizza, then you should be the royal pizza chef. Me? But I can't be the royal pizza chef to the queen. I am the queen. But I must admit, I did enjoy rolling up my sleeves and wiggle waggling my fingers in that mozzarella cheese. Then uh, perhaps you wouldn't mind taking your own pizza on pizza night? Oh, come to think of it, no. And you wouldn't mind if I took that night off? Mine? I insist on it. Uh, I don't want anyone in my kitchen when I'm cooking. <laughs> well, just don't stand there, Rabbit. Let's serve up my prize-winning pizza. <laughs> I'm a pizza baking queen, and my pizza reigns supreme. It's the hottest thing around. It'll be known from town to town. Give them all a sauce. It's my prize-winning pizza. Well, Dinah, I guess I should sit down and answer Yvette's letter and say thank you. 
I mean grazie, for telling me all about Italy. Especially the part about the Leaning Tower of Pizza. Oops, did I say pizza? I meant the Leaning Tower of Pisa. Now why do you suppose I said pizza? Oh. <laughs>